What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Your girl's been MIA for a little while but I'm back and I've got lots of motivation to decorate and clean. Me and the kids have just been enjoying this summer break. We love the sun and the water so we've just been trying to make the most of it. So I'm just now getting home. I did do a little shopping. I ended up buying some wall decor for in my living room. I don't like things too cluttered, but I don't want it to look real empty and cold either. I love the cozy look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything inside. And once I get everything laid out, I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so I'm inside. I've got everything unbagged and laid out. First of all, I did pick up some paint from the Dollar Tree. We'll see how well that works. I'm just trying to change the colors of a decor piece that I already have. And then these are the decor pieces that I got for one of my walls. It looks like a complete set, but I bought these individually. So the bigger ladder in the middle, I paid $17 for. It's got the buffalo plaid, the little reef with the burlap bow. And then it also says home sweet home. And then the two smaller ladders that hold the pictures, I paid $15 a piece for those. They also had these ladders all in black as well. Got them all from Roses. They always have the cutest decor. And then I got this little arch. That's what I've been calling it. I actually stumbled upon this at the Dollar General. It was $15. And I just thought that it was really cute. I thought it looked good in the living room over my little end table. And it just goes with like everything else that I got. I'm really into the black and white. And I also picked this up at Roses as well. It has the same little reef with the burlap bow and then the buffalo plaid bow. I'm going to find a place for that. And then I picked this up for my kitchen. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I thought it was really cute. It also has the little buffalo plaid bow on it. It is in gray and white, but that's okay. And then this is really random, but I thought it was adorable. It's this little wooden coffee cup, and it says all you need is love. And then that's scratched out, and it says coffee. The pink is what got me. You guys know that pink is my color. And even though I don't have any pink in my mobile home, I just had to bring this home with me. So that's all for the haul. We're going to head outside and I'm going to get started painting this sign that was already in my living room. So it is gray. So it just pretty much blends in with my gray wall. I want it to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going over this with white and I'll paint the letters black. So this did take a few coats and I'll show you guys what it looks like later on. But for now, we're going to jump back into the day before whenever I actually went out shopping and bought everything. So I picked up this Bissell Little Green carpet cleaner and I wanted something that was handheld and lightweight because I just got this for spot cleaning, mainly for my couch and my smaller area rugs. And then of course my daughter has carpet in her room so I could even use it in there in case she makes a mess. So it did come with some solution I'm just opening it up. I did have a little pole on my community page between this and another carpet cleaner and everyone said to go with the little green. And I did use it. It worked so good. I'm really happy that I have it. And I just store it away in my laundry room. So I'm vacuuming off the couches before I go in and clean them. And I'm only cleaning the bottom cushions because the top cushions still look new and they still have like all of their fluff to them. So I've got my little handheld vacuum and I'm just giving it a really quick sweep in. And so now that I'm done with that, I just went straight in and I cleaned all the bottom cushions. And you guys know I do keep these cushions covered up with little throw blankets. 
So I was mainly just spot cleaning and trying to refresh the fabric. But to my surprise, after cleaning these and then pouring the water out, there was a little brown tint to the water. So I'm guessing the throws don't keep the dirt all the way out. Of course, the dirt probably falls through the fabric. And so I'm really happy that I ended up buying this. But yeah, this only took me about 25 minutes. I did speed it up, so it looks like I'm going a little bit faster than I actually was. And I wanted to share a little cleaning tip with you guys. Usually in the past, every time... I use a carpet cleaner instead of using the actual carpet cleaning solution I'd usually just buy a little tub of the powdered OxyClean and they have like two different versions they have the normal and then they have the one that's labeled with purple for like odor control and I would just fill the tank up with warm water and then put two scoops of the powder into the water and let it dissolve really good and then I would use that to clean everything up with. And I just feel like it works so good. And it is also a lot cheaper than the bottles of cleaning solution that you have to buy for these machines. So now moving on, I'm going to clean up this little area rug. So I usually stick with smaller area rugs. I love the way the bigger ones look. But the smaller area rugs are just such low maintenance. Like, it takes nothing to vacuum them, and also, they don't get dirty so quick because there is space to walk around them. So, whenever somebody goes to the couch, they might take one or two little steps on the area rug because it is so small. So, it doesn't get that dirty, and it doesn't hold that much dirt as to whenever I have a big area rug, I feel like I have to clean them more because... Of course, it takes up more stepping space, and so people are constantly walking across them. So yeah, that is why I stick with the smaller area rugs. I love the way a rug makes a home feel. It just gives it that little cozy vibe, and that's what I'm always going for. So yeah, I went ahead and got this clean, and I wanted to show you guys the water that come out of the tank. It almost looks like a watered-down chocolate milk. And it just feels really good to know that all of that dirt is no longer lingering around my furniture and carpet. So I'm very pleased. And now jumping back over, my sign that I painted is now dry. I put it all back together and I'm ready to hang it up on the wall. So instead of blending in with the wall, it just stands out so much better and it really does match the colors in my kitchen. So my kitchen is so black and white and then you move into my living room and everything is just like gray and silver. The only thing white is my blinds and my curtains. So I'm trying to put some black and white pieces in here to tie the two rooms together. So before we get started, I need to clean up all of baby Evan's mess. He is now learning to crawl and scoot all over the living room. So he's no longer just confined to one little area. He is up and on the go. So he makes such a big mess. So we're just going to get everything together. I'm putting it over here on the couch and then we'll clean this area. So the mat, I usually wipe down with Lysol wipes, but I'm thinking I'll actually soak them in the bathtub because every once in a while stuff needs deep cleaned. And talking about deep cleaning, I'm filling up a bucket of diluted bleach water and I'm just going to give my walls a quick wipe down. I mainly do this to just knock all of the dust loose. I do have paneled walling. So the dust loves to stick to these walls. So I love wiping them down and refreshing them. And also I don't have carpet in here. So the dog hair and dust has nowhere to just settle until it's vacuumed up. It just continuously floats around the living room. And I feel like it sticks to the walls. It just sticks to everything. So that's why I'm constantly wiping everything down. 
wiping everything down just makes me feel like everything is that much more cleaner and I love the smell that it leaves behind so now that the walls are wiped down I've knocked everything loose from them I'm going in with my broom and I'm just gonna sweep the floors up really good so that way I can wipe the floors down as well so we're just gonna get everything swept up and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, so I did refill up my bucket of water with the diluted bleach. And when I say diluted bleach, I filled this bucket halfway up with warm water and I put maybe two capfuls of bleach in it. So it's very diluted, but it still has that clean bleach smell. And I'm just going in and wiping these floors down really good. And the reason why I've been wiping my floors down a lot lately is because baby Evan is crawling around, like I said earlier in the video. So I really want to make sure that the floors are clean because he's just on the go and I want to cut down on the germs. So we're taking shoes off at the door and I'm wiping these floors down at least once a day. If I know I wiped them down the day before, I'll go in the day after kind of to cheat and just use the Swiffer. But now that the floors are dried and wiped down, I'm gonna go ahead and hang these up on the wall. And I just feel like this wall is so odd. I don't really know what to put here. So I thought that this would be perfect instead of the wall just being so plain. I usually put my real long mirror right here and I love the way it looks. It makes the living room look a little bit bigger. But since baby Evan is pulling up on things now, I don't want him to grab a hold of the mirror because I'm afraid he's going to pull it off the wall. And we don't want that happening. So these are actually really lightweight. And I just think this is going to work out so much better. Eventually, I'll put my mirror back in here and I can move these into my hallway because I have nothing hung in my really long hallway. And these would be perfect for that space as well. And so this is what it looks like. Let me know what you guys think. Is it too much? Is it too little? I really like it. But now moving on to the next wall piece, we're gonna take this down and we're gonna hang this up. I love how you can kind of see through this. You can still see the wall. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it there for now. I may move it to the kitchen. And then the last thing I need to do in here is just wipe my table down. It's got little fingerprints all over it. I've really been battling with the fingerprints here lately. So I'm using my foam glass cleaner. I love the smell of this stuff. And I'm just giving the table a good wipe down, even though it'll need it again later on. And I'm just moving everything back in place. I'm not putting the foam mat back down just yet. And I got this one little piece left. It says home sweet home. Instead of hanging it, I think I'll set it on the bar to help divide the two rooms. And so that was the last decor piece that I had. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I know today's video was a little short, but I'm just now getting back to recording and I had all of this new decor that I wanted to decorate with with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got lots of motivation and ideas to decorate your own home. I want to thank everybody for watching. Definitely stick around for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.